What's up gamers, gamers, and gamers? My name is John and welcome back to Minecraft A New World. Last time we met Iris and she's trying to get us something with like a trigger thing and apparently I'm assuming we're her father and the mother is gone away somewhere and she's trying to do some naughty things and I do not want to do that. That is bad. Bad. No, no, girl. I did not teach you when I left you three years ago. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. But anyways, let's get back to it, guys. It's pretty late. Good night, mister. I don't get why you call me mister or anything. I just call me father. I am your father. <laughs> oh, snow. I watch her as she moved to the lights, turning them off. Darkness. I heard a zipper and fell then felt her climb into bed into the bed i hope you don't mind it oh you better not do it i lay back onto the bed feeling her her uh, her yeah her clutched onto my arm before long she was fast asleep oh okay okay i pulled her closer smiling to myself oh god steve you better not I'll take her home with me. <laughs> okay, at least she's taking her home. I mean, she's our daughter, right? Dots. Dots. Even more dots. And so after, I'm asleep as well. And soon after, I, I'm asleep as well. On the block. That's strange. Dots. Rather than darkness, I see every night. I can see dots. The house? Question mark? Huh? Rosaline? Ander? It's been two... Uh, I forgot her, her voice, but whatever. It's been two weeks. Where did you leave him? Oh shit, are we having like a little dream thing like we can see from another point of view type of thing? I know those type of dreams, but it's fucking crazy. I don't know why, but it just happens like to cert to like I don't know if it happens to anyone else but I I understand what the way this is going where did you leave him R wait Rosaline went back to the house for that I thought she was gonna go somewhere I thought she was gonna go to the capital that's what I was assuming when she got us up there or something as I said I left him back to the, at the witch's house and seemed furious at this point oh shit She's pissed off. She should have never let Rosaline walk with Steve. Rosaline, on the other hand, uh, on the hand, looked more annoyed than anything. If you really care about him so much, use your magic and go find him. Oh shit! I these two are like since the beginning, they're gonna go at it at some point. I have a feeling. I'm feeling they are gonna fight. <laughs> I don't want to see how that's gonna go. I can only teleport places I've been before. I can't just appear out of anywhere I wear want. Can't you just be like jump? Oh wait, but jumper has the same thing. Like, but he looked at pictures and then he just teleported to there. So okay, that's cool. Yeah, you appear between me and Steve when I first arrived here. Oh shit! And you put a furious face, taking a step forward. Oh shit! Oh shit, it's gonna go towards Rosalie. Silva jumped. Oh shit, it's Silva. We haven't seen that like little girl in a long ass time. Between the two, uh, two shaking her head. I don't even know her voice anymore. It's been such a long ass time, for real. Will you two quit fighting already? I'll give her that. <laughs> Andy backed off, sitting on the couch. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I'm worried about him too, but even so, I'm sure he's- You fucking left me! Not to mention go to a blizzard! Fucking, I almost died, you fucking dick! Of course, you're just- <clears throat> Of course, just because you're short, he's fine, he's fine. I watched as the two went back and forth. Oh shit. <laughs> Civil place her- her head in her hands walking over towards me wait what oh shit 
She looked behind herself at the arguing girls, then back at me. I don't know where the hell you are, but you better come home before they kill each other. <laughs> yes! Bring out the freaking torches. Bring out the sword. Bring the diamond sword and an axe. Go for it. Kill each other. Oh, shit. She slammed the, wi the window shut. My vision returned to pitch black. I know this type of dreams, man. This is kind of weird. I don't know why. Shit. Shit got real. Shit got fucking real. It's still dark. Oh, well, uh, I'm a lolly. You... Yeah, you gotta fix the it's. It's a Leon S. No, I'm joking. I figured, um, I figured I would have woken up by now. Strange dots. In the distance, I can hear what sounds like a harsh wind. Do you like my harsh wind? <laughs> I can make it blow. Oh my god, don't quote that, please. A few you guys based it. A few moments later, I can see a girl with her with her back to me. What? Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. My eyes locked on something coming from her shoulder. Are those What? Hold on. Hold on. Hold hold the hold the fuck up. Wait. Wait. Is this who I think it is? And this is like an upcoming challenger. Is this the Ender Dragon? Oh shit, shit is going down. Shit is going down. Wings? I took a step back to tripping over something. The girl turned to me, tilting her head. You again. Oh shit, she probably assumed we're here over in Again, I stand up dusting myself off. Have we met before? She takes a few steps towards me, inspect in, in, in inspection. <laughs> she then shrugs, shaking her head. Okay, good. She doesn't know. But like, oh shit, the story is getting more deep now. It's getting a little bit more in depth. This is getting excited so far. This is getting more exciting. And I, I, I thank God I'm doing the gentleman route. Yes. That's odd. You're just like the other human who came here to me. Other human. The girl nodded, looking up at the purple board above us. Oh shit. He was troubled. He said he came to slay me. Slay her? That would explain Herobrine's battered and bloody state. But why would he try to slay you? The girl topped her chin, then flexed her wing. Have you ever seen a dragon? Uh... <coughs> Well, right in front of me, yes. Only in storybooks from when I was younger. Well, that's true, too. And also Shrek and also, like, other things. And, like, in, in real life. She <clears throat> she moves towards uh, to me as if offering me her wing. Touch it. Oh, really? You're going to let me touch your wing? Oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Freaking, instead of like those other, like, you know, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like, in those typical animes, or like, in one of those other visual novels, like, it's like that type of girl that's like a Neko, or like an animal girl, they'll say, oh, you can't touch my ears, or like my tail, because it's sensitive, I'm mostly vulnerable, and say, that is so indecent, man, and that's it, and you feel more innocent because of that, <laughs> that type of shit, but she, no, no, she doesn't give a fuck. I looked at her for a moment with question look on my face, but as soon I do as I was told, I can feel a strange energy go through my hands. Oh shit, are we getting close to, well no, I, I'm assuming we're not getting close to the climax, but we're getting too close to that other point. It didn't expedition? No, no it wouldn't be that, it would be something else. But we're getting we're getting there we're getting there i think we're gonna get to the next point of the chapter and what's going on with herobrine and now the ender dragon and um, whatever her name is 
I wonder when, like, this is all edited out, cropped out. Like, it will show the actual figure of that uh, Ender Dragon Girl. Like, this shit looks awesome. It kind of reminds me of the Dragon Girl with the, the girl with the dragon tattoo. Well, not really, because... Yeah, you know what I'm talking about, but yeah, let's, okay, anyways. Blah, blah, blah. I can feel a strange energy go through my hand. I pull away, looking down. Ooh. What the hell? I pull my hand into a fist and punch the rough ground under me. Oh, yeah, because I have the power, motherfucker. My eyes widen, seeing it crack. No way. She just gave me power. The fool came to me requesting a wish. She began walking along and I followed her. He wanted me to go to war. He heard the stories of us dragons wiping out entire nations. He wanted me to kill the corrupt queen. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Things I just got serious now. What did you do? Of course I refused. The queen and I have been on good terms for years. There's no reason to go to war with the nether core. We crush them easily. They know this. So what did he do? The fool called me a coward. He challenged me. And so what happened? She met, uh, mentioned for me to follow her, looking straight down off the edge. Probably throw her, throw him off the lava. We fought for a while. I was going easy on him. He ran into one of my attacks. It drove a hole into his chest and his stomach. Then he fell off. After that, my guards came and stopped me from chasing after him. They said it wasn't my problem. Oh shit! <laughs> well, good thing too, because here brings a fucking dick. It isn't your problem, though. Herobrine should ha have attacked you. Her eyes lit up for um, the, at the mention of his name. She looked at me, her face serious. Oh shit! Never the the name that fuck. How did he go in Harry Potter? Never name the name. Uh, that's that's the name. Fuck, fuck, fucking, fuck, fuck. Don't mention the fucking name. Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> oh shit. Um, you know him. I began be backing away from the edge, but she pressed on, coming closer as she spoke. Did he live? Please tell me he's alive. Oh, please don't tell me you care for him. I averted my eyes, trying to think of a way to say, "Oh well, he's inside of me." I'll just tell you that. I looked down at the girl, her eyes full of tears. Don't give tears because of that bastard. I didn't mean to kill him. No one who, who has ever fallen into the voids has returned. It was a foolish, it was foolish of me to fight him. It's my fault, he's... I quickly hugged her tight. It wasn't your fault he died. He shouldn't have challenged you. Dots. Just don't cry, okay? Oh shit, I just noticed these fucking things in the background. But okay guys, I think I'm gonna leave it off for right here for right now because things have got very, very more interesting than it is. So guys, until the next time, I hope you guys have a good night, good evening, and good morning from wherever you're from. So peace out and sayonara guys. Bye bye.